What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As a few of you will have noticed, I haven't uploaded for about a month and this is just down to uni being stressful and Southampton just being dog shit at the moment really. I just wanted to make a quick video regarding my opinions on Pellegrino and sort of the whole team ethic and what's going wrong at Southampton. Many people putting it down to the players, but for me personally, Mauricio Pellegrino, when he came in, he promised a new, new style of football, which we haven't got. Our squad is actually better now than it was last season, but we're performing considerably worse. And you've just got to look at Claude Puel at Leicester to show that he is a decent manager when he gets the players working for him. I don't think Puel got enough time at Southampton. I was one of the people who wanted him gone, but I think the time that he was sacked was sort of not beneficial for our season. With the cup final and everything, he, he did well to get us there. Um, and we were unlucky on the day not to win a trophy. By the end of the day, Puel's gone now. We've got to look at Pellegrino and at the present day. And if we don't win against Huddersfield on Saturday, I do believe he has to leave. The replacement names that are going round is sort of like the Pulis, um, Pardew, people to sort of make sure we stay in the Premier League because it, you may laugh thinking, oh, Southampton can't go down. Like, But as it stands, we're three or four points away from the relegation zone. And with a tricky Christmas period coming up, we could easily drop down into that bottom three. Brighton, a newly promoted team that apparently don't have the squad depth to stay up, are managing to, to compete with us and be level on points. So if Southampton do not win on Saturday, Mauricio Pellegrino has to leave. And for me personally, his replacement, I'm not sure who I'd want to sort of cross that bridge when we come to it. Starting in 2018, I do want to be making regular videos on this channel, so I'm going to put a straw poll link in the description below um, where you can sort of vote on which content you'd like me to sort of put my main focus into, sort of like vlogs previews like reviews giving my opinions on like the Premier League in general and um, so there'll be a straw poll link in the description below go vote for what you want me to sort of put my main focus into I just sort of wanted to sort of address the fact why I haven't been uploading and my opinions on Pellegrino Huddersfield at home is not going to be an easy game at all um, we saw them pick up points against Watford uh, earlier on in the week Watford a very strong side who have been doing really well under Marco Silva just sort of got demolished by a Huddersfield side that Hadn't scored since hadn't scored an away goal since the first weekend of the season. I've actually seen fans online wanting us to lose on Saturday so that Pellegrino can leave. If you're that against a manager and you're that against you wanting change, then just don't support the club. If you're willing to let three points, three crucial points against Huddersfield go just to get a new manager, just to prove your point, then just go and support another club. I will be vlogging the Huddersfield game on Saturday. Um, Fingers crossed we can actually pick up three points because I'm not sure what my reaction is going to be at full time if we don't. I'm going to leave in the description my Twitter and the link to my main channel where I do non-football related videos. So if you want to check that out, that will be there as well. The straw poll will also be in the description below. And I'll see you on Saturday. Up the Saints.